we booked to Bathon. Book to Bathon. So it's in like three minutes and I'm so excited. So before the Book to Bathon officially, officially launches in my time zone, I thought I would give you an update on my TBR, which changed. I had decided to take a lock and key by Sarah Dessen off of my TBR and I replaced it with You Are Here by Jennifer e. Smith and then the other book that I have taken off of my tentatively tentatively taken off of my TBR is Juniper Lemon's Happy Happiness Index because I ordered it from Book Depository and it hasn't come out come in yet so it's been like a week and a half so I don't know if I will get it um, before the Booktubeathon is over. I bought it because of the Booktubeathon, but it's okay. So I have switched challenges around. So The Fill and Boyfriend by Casey West is going to be my hyped book in case Juniper Lemon's book does not come in. If it doesn't come in by Thursday, I will start this book. And then I added another book to have seven books, and that is Unblemished by Sarah Ella. So those are the changes in my TBR. And then this little chart over here, I'm not going to tell you how long I took putting it together. It was... It was, let's just say it was a long time. So anyway, so this is going to have all of my stats and it's going to help me be organized this week because I have a lot of other things that I have to do um, besides book two -a -thon. I have a review book. So I have to read 200 pages in my book two -a -thon TBR and then I have 43 pages in my review book that I have to do and then I have my videos that I'm going to be doing, some video challenges and all that. And then I'm also doing Camp Nano. So it's the last week of Camp Nano, and I have 4,000 words that I have to write um, this week. So 493 words that I gotta write um, each day. So not, you know, not a huge amount, but still, you know, time and stuff. And then I have reviews I have to write and all of that. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna, you know, log all of my stats for the week and all that good stuff. So, okay. I am sure it is after midnight now. I am going to go and start reading. I think the book that I'm starting with is You Are Here by Jennifer e. Smith. So I will update you guys whenever I have anything to update. Happy reading and have an amazing, amazing week. So the book Tubathon has officially, officially started in my time zone. We are in, it is now currently about 1.30. In the morning, I have been reading on and off for the past hour and a half, and I've gotten 30 pa 39 pages in You Are Here by Jennifer Smith written. No, I did not write this book. I got 39 pages read in this here little book, and I'm enjoying it. I really enjoyed um, Jennifer Smith's writing and her characters. I'm, I'm interested in where the story is going because I don't really, I don't really know what she's trying to achieve in the story yet and so I'm interested in where the story is going and I'm interested in our two main characters finally encountering each other or not necessarily encountering each other but like interacting with each other because they haven't yet and so we'll we'll see when that happens but I'm really enjoying this now I'm going to take a break I am hungry so I'm gonna eat some chips and salsa and I may read some more, read a couple more chapters. If so, then you'll see me later tonight or this morning. Um, if not, then you'll see me later this morning. Um, either way, I mean, I guess you're, you're really just going to see me in like five seconds. So, depending on what time of day that is, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. It's only been about five seconds for you guys, but it's been about 13 hours since last I talked. I ended up not reading anymore earlier this morning. I ate my chips and salsa and then I fell asleep watching Grandma Girls and woke up at 6 o'clock this morning and went to bed. Like got in my bed and then I slept for a few more hours. I slept late. Let's just be honest. I slept till noon. Okay? It's fine. It's fine. But since then I have read some more pages in you are here. I made it to page 63. I am so liking this book, but I am really annoyed with the parents and on both sides. And I just, 
I don't know. It's just kind of annoying me and it's frustrating. But I'm going to continue and see where the story goes. The two main characters have finally, like, are going to be together. Which takes a long time. It's taken way too long for them to, like, be in the same story. It's... Anyway, and so I'm going to put that one down for a little bit, and I'm going to pick up Serenity Volume 1. This is going to fulfill my challenge of reading a book in one day, so I'm going to sit down and read it, and my husband's really excited because he has been wanting to read these graphic novels since he gave them to me for my birthday, and I won't let him read them until I read them, so he's really hey guys, excited. guys, so I just finished Serenity Volume 1. I really enjoyed it. It feels like... It starts right after the end of the series, before the movie, and so it was really enjoyable. It was fun to get more of these characters. I I wish we'd have had more, more TV show, as every fan of Firefly feels, but... <sighs> Stupid fox. Anyway, so I have finished uh, one book and one challenge, so the challenge I finished was read a book in one day, so... Go me, woo And as I was finishing, I got a knock on the door because I got some mail and it's from Book Depository, so I'm believing it's going to be my copy of Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index because it's the only book I bought at Book Depository, so it's not a really hard guess. Here we go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited it came. I was really afraid it wasn't going to come before the end of the week, and so I'm really happy. I know I could have bought the American edition and got it, got it here in time, could have went to the store and got it, but the American, uh, the American cover is so terrible, and so I had to buy it for this cover because it's like, look, it's beautiful, so... I'm really excited about this book. Okay, well, that's all I got. I think my husband and I are going to go and get some lunch or early dinner or something, whatever whatever meal it is at 3.30 in the afternoon. So, And then I think I'm going to go to Starbucks and get some other stuff done, edit my Mr. Potato Head video, and get some more reading done and all of that stuff. So... Okay, I'll catch you guys Apparently, in the next one. I was just flipping through my videos that I've made, and the one that I made earlier today, um, I accidentally deleted. So anyway, so it's the second day of the booktube -thon, and I spent all day reading and finishing. You are here. I just finished this, like, two seconds ago, and <sighs> it was okay. It, it, it was okay. It's definitely not my favorite, and I don't know, it just, she took a long time to say very little, and then when I felt like the story was really starting to get going, she ended it. And so, I am now in a dilemma of not really knowing what I want to read next. I had set up a schedule for myself for the week, like, okay, this is the book I'm reading this day, and this is how many pages I have to read, and... And so I, I found that I want to continue to kind of stay to that schedule. And so the book that I've scheduled to read also today is Some Kind of Magic. But I don't know if I really feel this book. So I have three books that I'm going to do try a chapter on. And so I'm going to read one chapter in Some Kind of Magic, one chapter in The Fill in Boyfriend, and then one chapter in Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index to see which one I want to so pick up I next. I just finished reading the first three, first chapter in these three books. And I think I'm definitely not going to be reading The Phil and Boyfriend right now. Um, I just finished a very angsty um, young adult novel. And so this one feels like some more angst that I don't really want to read right now and so I think I am gonna I think I am leaning more towards um, some kind of magic just because this is about a 29 year old or a 28 year old I think she's 28 and so it doesn't have all of that um, teen angst in it but this one it does sound really interesting uh, maybe a little bit more heavy than some kind of magic so I'm not really sure I'm gonna kind of put these two on the back burner right now and I'll decide later. I think I'm gonna, um, if this one will let me, I'm gonna get up and maybe get ready for the day, you know, 
6 o'clock at night. Uh, maybe go to Starbucks or something and get my the writing done that I need to get done and the reading of my review book done. So anyway, that's all I have to say. He is so asleep. I could do almost anything. He's When he's so asleep like this, oh, there we go. Oh, I love it when he's asleep like this. He's so asleep. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so I'll let you guys know what I decide and how things go if I band it.